Soon the awesome day of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Hadin, the day of judgment, will be upon us. The Torah does not connect Rosh Hashanah to any particular historical event, as it does, for example, the festival of Pesach, which commemorates the Exodus, or Sukkot, which reminds us of the fact that our forebears dwelt in booths in the wilderness. Here the Torah is very mysterious, and it just says, Yom Tru'ah Yelachem. It is a day on which you will sound the shofar. However, our sages in the Talmud did explain and say that there were certain historical events that took place on Rosh Hashanah. Sarah, Rachel, and Hannah were all answered, all conceived on Rosh Hashanah. Sarah, as we know, the wife of Abraham, was barren for many, many years. And at the age of 90, she had a child. Rachel, the favorite wife of Yaakov, was barren for many years. As her sister Leah kept on having child after child, she conceived. She was remembered on Rosh Hashanah. And Hannah, the story of Hannah that we read in the Haftarah, the first day of Rosh Hashanah, the second wife of Elkanah, again, her co-wife had many, many children, and she was bitter, and she was frustrated, and she had no children. She was remembered on Rosh Hashanah. She conceived, she gave birth to Samuel, who would become the great prophet, Shmuel Hanavi. Another historical event that took place on Rosh Hashanah, the sages tell us, is that Yosef, Joseph, was freed from prison. Joseph was in a worst-case scenario. He was thrown into an Egyptian prison. He was a slave in Egypt. He was accused of trying to commit adultery <clears throat> with the mistress of his master, Potiphar, thrown into prison with no hope. No one would find him. His, his family wouldn't find him, and he would probably die there in prison. And on Rosh Hashanah, he came out of prison. But he didn't just come out of prison that very day. He was elevated to become the second in command to Pharaoh. And lastly, the slavery was abolished on Rosh Hashanah. And eventually, after many months, our fathers came out of Egypt. What do these events have in common? That three of our great matriarchs were recalled, were remembered, and even though they had been barren, now they conceived and they had children. And Joseph is freed from prison and the bondage, the very difficult labor, ends in Egypt. And I'd like to suggest that what they have is that they're an indication of hope. Hope in a hopeless situation. These three women thought that they would never have children. There was nothing they could do. They couldn't go to a fertility doctor, and they prayed. And they didn't give up hope, and they were granted a child. When everything seemed bleak, Joseph was in a situation that was untenable. Who would ever save him? Who would ever help him? And suddenly, overnight, he was taken out of prison, and he was elevated, and he was saved. When all hope seemed to be lost, suddenly there was hope. Our forefathers were in Egypt for over 200 years. They were persecuted. They were oppressed. Would they ever come out? It didn't look like. And Moshe came, and they were saved, and they were released from their bondage on Rosh Hashanah, and they were let out <coughs> later on on Pesach. And the Talmud concludes that in the future we will be redeemed in the month of Tishrei. According to one opinion, in the month of Nisan, but the, the, the Talmud goes on and says in the month of Tishrei. It is a time of hope that every, when everything seems bleak and seems black and seems dark, Hashem recalls us. His hashkacha, His supervision is over each and every one of us and over the Jewish nation. The year 5784 has been a very difficult year. It began with the terrible terror attack of Hamas in the south of Israel, and the war which hasn't ended yet, and the death of many soldiers and many civilians, and many people still held hostage. Please, God, we pray that Hashem should remember us in this bleak and dark situation, give us hope, and save us. And please, God, just as we were saved in those, in those days before, Hashem should save us in the month of Tishrei on Rosh Hashanah. I wish you all a ketiva v'chatimah tova. May you all be written and inscribed in the Book of Life.